Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming back to you with another cool electronics project with the Raspberry Pi. In this project, I will be showing you two new things. The first thing I will be showing you is how to use an ultrasonic sensor to measure distance between two objects. The second thing I will be showing you is how to output text to a simple, how to output simple text to an LCD display. Now let me tell you more about these two. So this is the ultrasonic sensor. The module number is HCSR04. This sensor is commonly used to measure the distance from the sensor to a nearby object. Let me show you how this is done. This sensor emits uh, ultrasonic waves. This sensor emits ultrasonic waves and also senses when the wave returns back to the sensor. This contains four pins as you can see. The, there are, well, there's one pin each for power and ground. The third pin is called trigger which is used to generate the ultrasonic wave. The fourth pin is, which is called echo is the main pin as this senses when the wave leaves the sensor as well as when the wave returns back to the sensor after bouncing off the nearest object. This time duration between the start and the end is captured using a program on the Raspberry Pi. As we know, the, sound of, the speed of sound is fixed at 343 meters per second. Based on that, we can compute how much distance the sound wave would have traveled in the duration that we have recorded. And that is how we compute the distance to the nearest object using this ultrasonic sensor. This is a simple 16 by 2 LCD display. The 2 refers to 2 lines which can display 16 characters each. A character can be an alphabet, number or special character. We can output to this display from a program on the Raspberry Pi. This display contains an I2C chip which makes it more convenient to use because we only need four cables to connect it to the Raspberry Pi. Out of these four, one is for power, the other is for ground and the remaining two are for data exchange using I2C. I2C is a simple communication technology used to communicate with peripheral devices such as this LCD display. Now that I have introduced you to these two components, let me show you the program. Okay. So I've already written the program here on my Raspberry Pi and I'll be taking you through this program. So first of all, at the top of the program, I've imported this LCD driver library. This library allows us to easily write, uh, write anything to the LCD display. It has commands that help us to write, write to the display. So here I'll set the I set the trigger pin to low so that the sensor settles a bit before before we can generate the ultrasonic wave. Then I sleep the program for one second or one second and then I set the pin trigger to high which activates the sound wave. Next, I have set two while loops. The first of these loops catches the time when the wave leaves the sensor. And the second of these while loops records the time when the wave reaches, when the wave reaches the sensor after bouncing off an object. So after we have recorded the start time and the end time, we can easily find out the duration by subtracting these two values. Then we use the speed of sound to figure out the distance in centimeters between the, uh, so that we can find out the distance that uh, so sound wave traveled. So now after we have found the, after we have uh, uh, found the distance bet uh, between the object and the sensor, as I said, the LCD driver library has a command to write to the display and that is display.lcd display string and we have used that command to write that distance to the LCD display. You can select what to write to which line by specifying the line number after the value like uh, after writing uh, 
distance we can we have put a comma in the between and uh, and then one indicating that this should go to the first line and similarly this should go to the second line it's also important to note that the text can only be 16 characters long as that's the maximum length the display can the display can show so now i'll switch over to the circuit and execute the program so now I have connected everything. This is what it looks like. I have measured the distances of 5, 15 and 30 centimeters from the sensor and, uh, and I have indicated uh, uh, these markings using the left edge of these sticky notes. Now I will place this object on each of these uh, markings and let's see how accurate the uh, sensor, the values uh, are. So now I've placed it on the 5 cm marking. Let me execute the program. As you can see, the distances are quite accurate, uh, quite close to 5 cm. Now let me move it to the 15 cm marking. As you can see, the distances are quite close, quite accurate, quite close to the uh, quite close to 15 cm. They are quite accurate as well. Now let me uh, place it on the 30 centimeter marking. Here as well, it's uh, slightly less accurate, but it's accurate. Now let me terminate the program. The distances become lesser accurate as the object moves further away from the sensor. So that was a cool Raspberry Pi project that you can make using an ultrasonic sensor and an LCD display. Hope you liked it. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.